my dear child, I am here to speak with you, so that you may know that in every beat of your heart, in every thought that crosses your mind, I am present. At this very moment, my love for you is as strong as the sun that lights the day, as constant as the stars that shine at night. I am your father, the creator who shaped you with my own hands. And today I come to remind you of how precious you are to me. I know each of your struggles, your deepest fears, and the worries you carry in your chest. I know the joys you've experienced and the tears you've shed when no one was looking. And that's why today, more than ever, I want you to know that I am by your side. My desire is that you feel my presence, that you hear my gentle and loving voice guiding you with every step you take. The reason I'm speaking to you today is simple. You are part of my heart, and as a father who loves his children above all else, I don't want you to walk alone. I want you to feel the security of knowing that, regardless of the circumstances, you have in me a safe harbor, a refuge where you will find peace and comfort. I'm here to remind you that you don't have to carry your burdens alone, for I'm ready to lighten them. As you listen to these words, I invite you to reflect on your life, your choices, and the depth of our relationship. Think about all the times you felt my hand guiding you, even when you didn't realize it. I've always been there, caring for you, directing your steps because you are my beloved child. And now, I want this certainty to be firmly established in your heart. You are never alone. This message is an invitation for you to open your heart even more to me. I want you to feel the freedom to talk with me at any moment, in any place, about anything that's on your mind. There is no subject too small or too big. What matters is that you share it with me. I am always listening, always attentive, because your voice is precious to me. Talk to me, trust in me, and together we will walk through every moment of your life. Today, you are enveloped in my blessings. I am here to mend your body and soul, to heal your past wounds, and brighten your future. I am here to take away all your pain. Listen closely to the words I share with you now, for they unfold the divine blueprint I have designed just for you. Despite the chaos swirling around you, I want you to experience a day like no other, a day filled with blessings and fulfillment. My words are a source of healing, life and solace, designed to uplift your spirit. As I speak, my divine touch gently brushes against your ears, my words wrapping you in a warm embrace that instills happiness, dispelling any gloom, confusion or sickness. Feel the love that surrounds you, bringing tranquility, serenity, and deep emotion to your entire being. I long for you to enjoy better days. So even when challenges seem insurmountable, hold firm to my love. My words are here to rejuvenate your heart. Fear not, for your foes cannot touch you. Their defeat is assured. You need no longer dwell in a sea of anxiety. Others will witness my supernatural grace upon you and will acknowledge my presence. This realization can transform their lives, shaping their futures and eternity. I am here, eager to assist you, to bring you peace through my promises, and to heal every affliction you face, be it physical or mental. I'm here to liberate you from any spiritual struggles and to alleviate the sorrows that diminish your zest for life. Allow me to release you from the grip of fear, to shatter the chains of despair that hold you back. I am an everlasting presence in your life. I will never leave you. My love for you is unyielding. I am always here, waiting with open arms, abundant grace and endless patience to take your hand and lift you up. Even if you feel the urge to flee, remember, you can run, but you cannot escape my love. I will always welcome you back. 
Today, I present you with a sign you've longed to see. I commit to demonstrating my love to you in a genuine, heartfelt manner. I am disclosing to your soul a wonderful truth. You are unique, truly one of a kind. Very soon you will see this truth with your own eyes. Get ready, for your life is about to be transformed in ways only I can achieve. What I have promised to restore to you, I will return manifold. Cast aside your concerns about past losses. I will restore double what was taken from you. The damage inflicted by your adversary will be converted into blessings. Your joy will increase, your dreams will be revived, and your heart will brim with newfound confidence and delight. Set aside some quiet time today, just for us to chat in private. Let's discuss your plans and those worries that disrupt your peace. Don't let debts or obligations keep you up at night. Trust in me for I will provide for you. If ever you find yourself at a low point, overwhelmed and uncertain, don't feel guilty. When fatigue strikes, when your needs multiply and your motivation dwindles, know that I hold no anger towards you. Remember, I gave my life for you, and the power of my resurrection is here to lift you from despair and defeat. Do not be overwhelmed by the perils of this world, Everything you need to face these challenges with bravery lies within you. You are invaluable to me, and I trust you. Your consistent commitment to your spiritual journey and your readiness for any battle are clear. You are active, striving, and relentless. Your character is fortified, your faith steadfast. The days of cowering in fear are behind you. You've never been one to shy away. Despite the fear in your heart, you've confronted and overcome your challenges. Your courage and victorious spirit please me greatly, and I assure you of continued success. Laziness will not define your life. You'll work diligently and show kindness to others, proving yourself as my child, and you will be rewarded. Keep your humility and simplicity. I will keep opening doors for you and smoothing your path. Your awaited miracle is already scheduled. The desires of your heart will be fulfilled in my perfect timing. You know well that I neither fail nor deceive. I always offer you the best. Promises of holy, eternal and spiritual blessings that no one can take away or steal. Keep your faith strong. The more you choose to believe, the more obstacles you might face. But my little lamb, stay calm. The challenges you see are merely desperate attempts by your enemy who still thinks he can defeat you. Rest assured you have my support. Your blessing is on its way and it cannot be taken from you. I will never grant you anything harmful. If you ask for bread, I will not hand you a stone. If you thirst for my holy waters, I will not give you bitterness. I will not lead you to a decrepit dwelling when you are meant to live with me in a heavenly home. I am your father, and I always want the best for you. I do not plan to punish you or subject you to needless trials. Many are angry with me, railing against the unseen, voicing their complaints to the void, but I love them all the same. I am not wrathful. Each day I greet everyone with the sunrise, offering the chance to live, feel, think, and choose. Many know right from wrong. They acknowledge my existence and love, yet resist coming closer. They fear losing what they see as freedom, opting to defy me, but this only leads them into their own snares. The enemy lurks, seeking to devour those who forget me reject me, surrender to false joys and cease to trust in me. You will always be enveloped by favor and mercy, witnessing numerous miracles. It's a misunderstanding that I reject anyone. Those who stray often do so based on others' mistaken beliefs about my acceptance. Embrace my blessings and let your heart overflow with my spirit. Keep a spirit of gratitude alive within you. 
persist in your prayers and immerse yourself daily in my words, coming each day with an eagerness to listen. My power and love will become evident in your life, and the fulfillment of your miracle is approaching swiftly. I have blessings in store that will fill your life with joy. I am ready to open doors for you that seemed forever closed. In my hands, I hold the essence of beautiful emotions, serene spring afternoons and joyful mornings throughout autumn and winter, creating oases of contentment even in life's deserts. Share with me the desires of your heart. I promise to provide you with all that is good and uplifting that you seek. The answers to your prayers are already affirmed in my written word. Trust it, for I do not deceive. Return to the simplicity of your faith. Believe, smile, hope, and awaken each day with wide-eyed expectation, like a child anticipating a daily surprise. Open your arms and trust in your Heavenly Father, who gave you life and desires only the best for you. Wait for me with faith. I am not coming to punish or rebuke you. You have given me your heart. My blood has cleansed you, and there is no malice within you. It pains you deeply each time you stumble, yet you always return in repentance, seeking forgiveness and realignment. That sincerity keeps my anger at bay. I will grant what you ask, knowing you will not request the trivial. Joy will visit your family. Healing will come to those who ail. Peace and harmony will reign in your home, fostering open and loving communication. A blessing not all families enjoy, but one available to all who open their hearts to me. Should they turn to me today, forsaking their misguided paths and committing to refresh their perspectives, to value themselves, their families, and others, placing me first in every aspect of their lives, they will witness this transformation. When I speak of prosperity, I mean a peace that transcends earthly concerns, freedom from debts, sufficient food on your table, and dignified employment to support your livelihood. I envision a family united, free of resentments, quarrels or divisions. I speak of my divine presence filling your home. My desire is for your prosperity to mirror the flourishing of your soul, focusing your mind on heavenly, not earthly, riches. If my Holy Spirit resides in your home, you possess true prosperity, even eternal life. Approach me with confidence. Believe in my word with full faith. Remember, all things are possible for those who believe in me. I love you and have only the best planned for you. My blessings will surpass all losses. And though you may not grasp it now, my actions are always purposeful, providing precisely what you need. For every sorrow you've endured, I promise a thousand moments of joy. For each instance of financial struggle, a future filled with divine prosperity awaits you. Where there has been illness, healing will flow. For every conflict, solutions will emerge. In the face of danger, my protection is yours. I will cover your life with my hands, ensuring you remain safe forever under my care, my affection, and my love. Do not lose heart. Simply trust in me. Remember, my vision extends beyond what your eyes can perceive, and I know precisely what is best for you. I hear your prayers and your dreams, and what I have in store for you surpasses anything you could imagine. So let go of sadness. Don't think I'm taking things away from your life needlessly. Rather, I'm clearing out what no longer serves you to make room for the great blessings I'm about to bestow. My immense blessing is on its way. Feel it, believe in it, anticipate it, and do not harbor any doubts. It will arrive very soon. Everything I place into your hands will benefit you, bringing blessings not only to you, but also to your entire family. Promise me that you will trust, assure me of your belief, and commit to seeking me daily. Come to
to me every morning. I long to see you here. I wish for your faith to remain vibrant and alive. You are on the verge of a wonderful transformation of your life, your character, your thoughts, and the desires and dreams harbored in your heart. All will be transformed through the anointing of my Holy Spirit, which I am pouring upon you to live this new life fully. Stand firm in your faith, and do not fear embarking on this new path. I will strengthen you and provide everything you need. My vision extends beyond your sight, and I have the very best in store for you. Have faith. I love you. I want you to feel secure today and always, knowing that your happiness and future depend solely on me, not on anyone else in this world. I am the only one who has died for you, and with my blood, I paid for all your sins. In power and glory, I have risen so that you may have life. You know the depths of loneliness, the sting of pain, the shadow of death, and the grip of despair. Yet through these trials you remembered my love. In your darkest moments you called out to me, and I heard you. I came to your rescue, healed your wounds, forgave your missteps, and revitalized your faith. Through these experiences you emerged stronger, returning to your dreams with newfound courage buoyed by my promises and the deep love of your Heavenly Father. I am offering you a new opportunity, an opportunity born from my sacrifice, which you must not take lightly. For your family's sake, fight with all your might. You must move beyond your current circumstances. I will equip you with what you need today, but be judicious with the resources I provide, your time and your energy. Avoid the pitfalls of misguided friendships and hollow pursuits. Do not place your hopes in people or things destined to let you down. I have blessed you with a heart capable of love, passion, and perseverance, so you can advance without faltering again. The past is behind you. I'm doing something new and wonderful in your life. A gift because you are precious in my eyes. Cherish these gifts. Think carefully before incurring debts or embarking on projects. Seek my will and my guidance. Avoid making promises you cannot keep or taking on burdens that are not yours to bear. Be wise, prudent and patient. I will restore your life and elevate you as a leader in your family and community. You will be respected. Witness what I can accomplish through someone who loves, serves, obeys, and truly believes in me. Share this message with those you hold dear and ready yourself for the fulfillment of my promise in your life. A marvelous blessing is on its way. Receive it, for you are deserving. Your faith, your perseverance, and your courage in the face of countless challenges have not gone unnoticed. You are a person of immense value and unwavering character. Only the sweetness of my love and my divine affection can move you to tears. Your spiritual sensitivity is profound. You feel my presence and recognize the spiritual adversaries that challenge you. Yet you stand firm, your knees do not buckle, you do not flee as others might. For these reasons, the blessings that await you are extraordinary. I love you. And I've demonstrated this through countless difficult days, bitter moments, and nights when I tenderly comforted your heart. I offered you divine solace, and by the next morning, you were uplifted, fortified, and could clearly see your magnificent purpose and beautiful destiny. Because of your extraordinary faith, I am showering your life and your family with blessings of holy revival. Now is the time for healing. Come into my presence. Lay down all resentment and unforgiveness at my feet. This is the moment for forgetting past differences and embracing beautiful reconciliation. If you accept this blessing, let me work through you, bestowing upon you abundant wisdom to strengthen your character, deepen your understanding of my word, and guide those you love so dearly. Some in your home may still resist following me. 
but they will reconsider when they witness the transformations wrought by my love and power within you. Allow yourself to be used by me. Do not fear ridicule or challenges. Treat any detractors with respect, and I will handle the rest. Banish complaints from your speech. Immerse yourself in my wise teachings. Read my word and keep it in your soul. Love and respect yourself as I love you, and extend that same patience and respect to your family and everyone around you. Act now, and soon you'll witness the miracles you've been longing for. Those with hardened hearts will soften. Those who have strayed will find their way back home. When they do, let them see in you an example of love and approachability. Let them feel that you won't scold or judge them, but will pray for them tenderly, without reproach. Like prodigal children, they will return to you repentant. Meet them with open arms. They will run to you, tears streaming, and you will welcome them with a warm embrace, stripping away their burdens and clothing them with love. Forgive their transgressions wholeheartedly even if you disagree with their choices, errors, and habits. Remember, you are not to judge. I have not sent you to punish, but to love as I have loved you. Despite your many failings, I have never shamed you, but have shown patience and forgiveness. I have offered you multiple chances and will continue to do so because of my immense faithfulness and boundless grace. I always forgive. Though mistakes carry consequences that bring pain, which teaches prudence. Recognize that you live by my grace and love, not punished as your errors might warrant. Each morning, come to me. Let me fill you with peace and grant you the wisdom necessary to earn the love and respect of your family. Guide them to my holy path, and before long, they too will come to know me because through your loving actions and words, you have conveyed my message and demonstrated my profound love for them. Good and faithful servant, prepare yourself to step into a season of joy and blessing as you witness your entire household come to recognize me as their God and Lord. I want you to know how deeply I admire you. It fills me with immense joy to see you standing strong against the enemy's schemes my love for you is profound, and it is my desire to bless you abundantly. I will fill your life with abundance, peace, and happiness for every moment you dedicate to me. Let's make a pact. Lend your ears to my voice, and wherever you are, feel the comfort of my words once again. I love you immensely. Tell me that you love me too. I know you've shed tears but the tears to come will be tears of joy, for I am making all things new in your life. Your suffering will end. Today, I enter your life with comfort and encouragement, breathing divine life into your heart, planting seeds of strength and love in your soul. I bring with me great gifts. Open your arms wide and accept them with faith. Many aspects of your life will change, but all I ask is that you believe. Nourish yourself with my word that brings peace and a sense of freedom to your spirit. Feel it now. My voice calms your spirit. My promises shield your life day and night, providing you with supernatural and divine security. I will use many of your circumstances to write new chapters filled with hope and wisdom in your life. You will not trip over the same stones. You will not repeat the same errors. Forget the wounds inflicted by betrayal. I will heal the pain that troubles your mind and erase the memories of those who have hurt you. Here I am. Feel me, listen to me, pay attention and respond. Do you desire this blessing? I know you've longed for relief from your burdens. Today marks the beginning of your transformation. Give yourself a chance for a positive and powerful change in all areas of your life. Do not be haunted by past failures or sins. They are behind you, as affirmed by my living word. 
inscribed on your heart by the gentle whispers of my spirit of love. Old things have passed away. Behold, everything has been made new. You are a new creation. See yourself with brave faith and renewed optimism. Today, all the vices that rob you of your will to strive, the bad habits that bind you to failure and sorrow, the negative thoughts that drag you down, these end. If there is still anger, rage, or unforgiveness in your life, today I will remove them, casting them into the depths of the sea, to a place so hidden they will never be found again. Tell your accusers, why scavenge through garbage to assail me? If God has forgiven me, I rise restored. Nothing can harm me, not even the enemy's schemes. Do not forget these precious words I write upon your beautiful soul, and let not your mind wander back to the pains of the past. I ask you seriously once more. Give yourself the chance to be uplifted, protected, loved, forgiven, cleansed and strengthened by this endless love that greets you each morning with tenderness. When you look in the mirror, remind yourself, my beloved God cares for me, loves me, is with me wherever I go. I live under his shelter. I dwell under his protection. As you speak these words, witness how my powerful Holy Spirit is poured upon your life, turning these words into a fire that burns away your negative emotions. You are immensely valuable. Your worth is beyond measure. You have a splendid future. I have powerful plans for you. Right now, many people love and admire you. I am elevating you to a new spiritual level, surrounding you with those who truly value you. Prepare yourself, for I tell you again, do not shy away from the tremendous opportunity before you. If you are giving me your heart, accept that I can transform you completely. I am reviving your dreams and smoothing out the wrinkles that concealed your desires. I am restoring vitality to your thoughts so that they sparkle with supernatural life. I am painting a youthful smile on your face that will open many doors. I am instilling a faith so strong it will propel you out of bed each morning, laying before you many plans and activities to engage in, to build, to create. And when you kneel to pray, you will feel my Holy Spirit empowering you with a unique and divine strength that I reserve for only a few. Accept my challenge. You are the cherished one I chose to first bring creative miracles to your family, and in time, the whole world will know you, and you will serve for the glory of my holy name. Now tell me in your own words, Beloved God, I accept your challenge and opportunity. I know I can change. I wholeheartedly embrace this divine and supernatural power. Give me the foremost place in your life. It is truly for your own benefit. Every morning, seek me in prayer and open your Bible. Come into my presence. Here you will find solace from the world's turmoil. While outside there may be cries of pain, in my presence, you will find peace and rest. This is your holy place, your home for quiet and reflection. Time spent with me is never wasted. I will transform every minute into years of blessings. Love me with all your strength, your mind, and your soul. Discard the thoughts that weigh down your spirit. In these times, fear is rampant, nations clash, families crumble, and love wanes. But under my shadow you will find refuge. I shield you from life's storms. Neither heat nor cold will sap your strength under my wings. Here your spirit is rejuvenated and your faith's flame rekindled. Ignore the negativity from those who do not seek or obey me. Avoid fixating on those who promise success without effort or the necessity of sacrifice. Instead, sow seeds of kindness, feed the hungry, offer water to the thirsty, and provide encouragement to the lonely and afflicted. Invest your life and your blessings wisely. Start with your family. Do not fear lack or hardship, 
for your stores will be full and your endeavors blessed when you honor and obey my word. There's no need to struggle for sustenance. Continue to work honestly, and my blessings will encompass you. Avoid deceit and theft. You are called to live above all wrongdoing. Distance yourself from those who would lure you into evil, for I desire the rightful place in your heart. Give me not only what is mine, but more. Your faith, your trust, your honesty, and your commitment to persevere. Believe this, if you've witnessed many blessings, prepare for even greater ones. This is the reward for those who show unyielding loyalty. How splendid it is to awaken each day under my blessing, knowing you'll never be alone. You are perpetually enveloped by my love, breathing air fragranced by my grace. The gentle caress of my powerful hand on your skin instills confidence and courage, regardless of the day's challenges. Together, we are invincible. We shall never be overcome. With the faith you possess, you can surmount obstacles, conquer challenges, achieve victories, and thrive in the supernatural realm. Never fear what each new day may bring, nor the revelations about your future and truth. My promises to you are inscribed in my word. Your future is radiant and eternally with me. Here on earth, you are endowed with every necessary wisdom and strength to live victoriously, surrounded by peace and happiness. Let me reiterate. Your joy, your vigor, your will to strive and thrive stem solely from me. I hold preeminence in all things, and I extend mercy in all aspects of your life. Each morning, you will rise without the dry emotions that once sapped your joy. When challenges arise with the dawn, rather than feeling shackled by sadness, know that I have the power to liberate you. I am your healer. The time is now for your hardships to cease. Your response to this moment defines your path. If you listen to your accusers, you risk falling back into despair. But if you trust and obey me, you will find lasting freedom and profound happiness. Continue as you are now, happy, vibrant, brimming with plans and aspirations, feeling courageous and strong, poised to seize your dreams. I don't want you to revert, to be ensnared and tormented by your own emotions again. Those days are behind you. If your faith remains steadfast, the days of suffering will never revisit you. Remember always, I love you profoundly, and this truth will never fade from your heart. Open your eyes wider, take a good look around. Sharpen your ears and listen attentively. Moment by moment, my love will continue to fortify you, infusing you with the courage to persist. Each morning as you rise filled with bravery, peace and joy, know that I am here, waiting to envelop and strengthen you with my sweet and everlasting love. The era of miracles is far from over. My word remains alive and potent. My spirit continually surrounds and fills you. Yes, you are facing challenges, and yes, you need me desperately. But do not fear. Do not fret. Do not be perplexed. I am right by your side. Even if it seems unimaginable to you and your family that a miracle can still occur, I will honor your faith and your steadfastness, your beautiful resolve to wait on me without doubt or surrender. A supernatural response is en route to you. The blessing you anticipate will arrive, and it will be more wondrous, grander, and superior to what you've envisioned. Accept and receive it, for this is how I choose to bless you. Rise and be valiant. Like the faithful who served and obeyed me in ancient days, you too can part seas, heal the sick, summon clouds, and usher in the rains that will conclude this period of need. But remember, the most crucial aspect is the love that fills you, sustains you, and will transform your life in a supernatural manner. 
If you require a miracle, then a miracle you shall have. You are on a journey of faith where the future is forged with hope. The unseen becomes seen through my holy word. My promises come to fruition. The impossible through you will become possible. Think like a champion, courageous, unwavering, diligent, patient with a humble heart and wholesome thoughts. I reside with those who possess simple faith, who do not chase personal gain but earnestly wish to overcome their struggles, to surrender their lives and fulfill my will. In you, I can enact an astonishing miracle, more significant and more potent than you can conceive. You will receive it. Wait patiently. This period is equipping you with wisdom and strength. You will see it. You will feel my presence. Your heart will recognize the moment it arrives. And when you receive your blessing, kneel down, remove your shoes, for you are standing on holy ground. There, I will speak to you again about the future, about the promises fulfilled. Do not lose heart. That glorious moment is drawing near. Tell me now, do you believe? As your creator, I speak to you with immense love and clarity. Do not let your circumstances define your spirit. Even on the cloudiest days, remember, each moment is a gift from me. Amen.